Hello ACT installers, my name is Dermot O'Neill. I am a tech support agent here with ACT. So today I'm going to demonstrate how to connect and integrate a Suprema BioEntry W Reader with our latest Act Enterprise software package. So this is made possible uh, via the EnterTech Systems BioConnect 3 Identity Management Platform. EnterTech are the operating partners for Suprema in Ireland. Okay, before we perform the integration with the Supreme BioEntry W Reader, we need to ensure that Act Enterprise is installed correctly, that we have a controller added, and we have users populated in the database. So if I open up the server client, when you install it, it's important before you move on to the next step that your server state is running, meaning Enterprise is installed successfully, and that the server is up, meaning that it's talking to the database successfully. So if I click on database here, you can see I'm using a full SQL database. Okay, so the next step is to ensure that we're talking to our controller. In this example, I'm using an ACT Pro 1500, a single door TCP IP controller, expandable up to 32. So this is a very simple install. It's just consisting of one door, a front door, with a Suprema reader wired into it. Okay, so if we close out of ACT install and then check ACT manage, just to demonstrate the users that we have on the system. So list users, we currently have four users on the system. Now that our access control system is up and operational, we're now in a position to install the BioConnect software. So this package is obtainable from the EnterTech website or alternatively on disk. So we're going to select the BioConnect integration software suite and BioConnect ACT. Do you want to continue? Yes. So it's just telling us what the system requires and do we agree to the license. So we're going to go for the server install and then we're going to click next. Okay, so in order for the BioConnect to install correctly, we must use an administrator account on the server. So my login, I know, is an admin account. So if I was unsure of what username or domain I was a part of, here's a top tip. You can open up the command prompt and type in who am I and it'll tell you what part or what domain you're a part of and what your username is you're currently logged in under. So I'm going to type in my details. And my password. And I'm going to click install. Okay, so the next screen is prompting us to enter the server IP where the BioConnect services are going to run. This is the server install, leave as local host. So we're going to leave it as local host and the server port as 8005. We're going to click install. This is going to take a couple of moments, so we'll just let that run. Okay, so BioConnect now has been successfully installed, so we can launch the BioConnect software now. Okay, we're presented uh, with two offerings here, an express install or a custom install. So the express install, this will automatically install SQL Server 2008 or two instance and create a BioConnect database automatically. This will be the recommended one um, or alternatively the custom install. So this allows you to choose where the BioConnect database is. If the database does not already exist, you will have to create it manually using SQL Management Studio. So it happens that I already have SQL installed on this machine. So with an instance of SQL running. So I'm going to open that up now and create my uh, BioConnect uh, database. So I'm launching my Management Studio to access my instance of SQL. Um, my server name is Dermot O'Neill, uh, PC backslash SQL Express. There's many tutorials out there about uh, installing SQL and setting up an instance of SQL if you're unfamiliar with it. Um, so databases, I'm going to create one here and I'm going to right click and I'm going to click new database and I'm going to give it a name um, called BioConnect. Okay. So I've successfully created and added my database. There's my existing Act Enterprise database there too also. So I'm gonna minimize that and go back to my custom setup. Now when I click on custom setup, I'm gonna type in the name of my SQL instance. And 
and I'm going to type in the name of my database. And I'm going to test the connection. Connected successfully, great. So update and next. Okay, so please enter the server IP address where ACT services are running. Because I'm hosting the BioConnect software and the Act Enterprise software on the same machine, I can just leave the server IP as localhost. So the full name of the server, so this can be found by going and right clicking on, you know, um, uh, my computer, I go into properties, and the name of the server is Dermot O'Neill PC. Um, so the server port that it's going to be connecting on is 8002. The Act Manage username is administrator and there is no password, so I can save that. Settings have successfully been saved. Click on Next. Okay. So database import sync. This step will synchronize the BioConnect database. This will import all existing cardholder uh, data from the new database and upload them, update the most recent changes from the existing BioConnect. So we synchronize that. So it's going to extract all the users out of Act Manage. Okay, so the database import sync was successful, so we can now continue and press OK. Okay, and we're finished. Now if we click into user management, we're capable of seeing all of our uh, users that are currently uh, registered on our Act Enterprise software package. So the login detail, the default is EnterTech and the password is Bobcat. I'm currently using a trial version. And if I click into user management, there's all my users there. Okay, so the next step is to add the Suprema BioConnect W reader. So we go to device management and then we're going to click on find devices. So the Suprema reader is by default or DHCP, so we should be able to plug it into a switch and automatically get it assigned within an address. So we click on search, it's now sending out a ping across the network to detect any Suprema readers. So we found one here, the BioEntry W, beautiful, and it's currently set to DHCP. Um, that's the server IP address of my laptop, and the port number we're just gonna change to 8001. So if we click apply, then hopefully it should appear in our devices. Okay, so the unit has appeared. So we're going to expand on that and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it front door where it's located. Um, I'm going to define it as an enrollment reader. Um, anything else important here? And I'm going to get it to output the user ID number as its Wigan output and the card format I'm going to set as 26 bit standard. And if we scroll down the bottom here, we have our save button. Now we need to go to our quick enrollment button up here to assign a fingerprint to one of our users. So we enter in the user that we want to add uh, a fingerprint to. And then we're going to select our reader from door and then we're going to select enroll. And that is now the fingerprint enrolled on the system. And now we get an access granted when we present our finger to uh, the reader. So if we look at Act Manage, and we can now view the report. So I assigned it against John Lennon. So live system expand, access granted, John Lennon. So if we wanted to assign another fingerprint to another user, we simply minimize this. Quick enrollment, Ringo Star, select Ringo, select the enrollment reader from door, and click on enroll. That concludes our tutorial on how to integrate Suprema with ACT. Thanks for watching.